Welcome. In some previous videos, I set up Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS on a Raspberry Pi 4. And then the next video, I set up Ubuntu Desktop on there. In this video, I'm going to be setting up a second desktop. So in the previous video, I set up GNOME Desktop. In this video, I'm going to be setting up LXQT. So I'll put a link in the description of my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find those other videos. I'll also put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm logged into the Ubuntu Desktop and I want to type sudo space app space update on the command line and hit enter. And this will download an updated package list. Okay, that's finished. Next, I'll type sudo space app space install space lubuntu, so it's Ubuntu with an L in front of it, dash desktop. I'll hit enter. It brought up a list of packages, so I'll say yes. Now it's going to download and install those. Okay, so now we have this screen that says configuring SDDM, and that's a simple desktop display manager. So it wants us to select one of the display managers. I'll hit enter. So here we have GDM3 or SDDM. So I'll choose GDM3. Okay, that has completed. I'll exit out of my terminal here. I'll go up to the upper right and I'll go to log out. Okay, I'll click on my username here. Then on the right, you'll see this little gear icon in the bottom right. I'll click on that, and I'll go up here and select LXQT Desktop. Now I'll type in my password. I'll hit Enter. We have a message that says, Welcome to LXQT. I'll just choose the default. I'll hit OK. And now we're logged in. So we have a little message that says a reboot is needed. It says we have Wi-Fi. I'll say restart later. If we click down here on the left, we can see the menu. So we can, um, you know, you have accessories, educational games, things like that. So if you want to switch over to the GNOME desktop, you could go back to the, you could log out of this and then go to that gear again and switch uh, GNOME and then log into it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.